find nothing. Now I drop back down into the canyon. That's a good brown six. He's got decent mass like back here. He's young. All right, guys, back here with you, April 22nd. It's been a little bit since I've been out. It's last weekend, but we're back at it. Got my four-wheeler unloaded. Gonna head up here into some country where bulls tend to shed, or we pick them up every now and then when we're up here looking for deer sheds. And haven't ever come in to look for them when they're brown, falling off, we always get them the year after, so. I'm gonna try it today and drive up in there and hit some of these big ridges. Should pick up some mealy sheds and hopefully a elk shed. So fingers crossed, we'll be back with you guys. Just got the tundra. I'm gonna leave her here in the gravel pit. Gonna take off. Let's go. All right, guys. Still going along here. I was just getting ready to circle off this finger. I hit a hit the snow line and was going to head back to my four wheeler but I seen a rub and I was checking out a fresh rub and I heard something thump jump up and I looked and I could see an elk, a bull come running around in circle and stopped and looked at me I was looking underneath the reprod and it was a shedded bull medium sized bull and I didn't see much growth on his head so but I'm in this saddle it was all snowy, but where he was hanging out, it's a saddle and it's bare on both sides. <clears throat> so there's a good chance that his shed should be in here somewhere. So I'm going to stay in here for a minute and work down this hill into here and keep zigzagging. I've been gridding the whole time, zigs and zags. I haven't kicked nothing up yet, but I, I was seeing a lot of pretty fresh looking rubs, I figured, and they must have been the from the bull i seen so there's got to be some more i thought i heard some more crashing off earlier but that bull jumped up right in front of me about 10 yards and ran and did a circle it was just really thick and definitely a bull with no horns so fingers crossed but we get into something gave me a little more motive to keep checking this and i'll be back with you guys if i find something hopefully all right guys still grinding along haven't picked nothing up yet, but came up on a good sign. Flip around and show you guys. Cruising this reprod. Got the, the lucky one. Lucky balloon. Hopefully, coming clutch again. Last one I grabbed did. We got to bay. Welcome back. And welcome back. Boom. Like, yeah. Uh, welcome back to where the sheds live. All right. Hopefully. Soon. You guys know what that means, huh? Lucky balloon. Shed bulls running around. You know there's a brown elk shed right here. And if I find it, that's one thing, but the proof's in the pudding. Or in the balloon and the bowl that I've seen, but you can keep ouch, keep fighting through this three prod getting whipped in the face as we go but hopefully find this shed man or something i'll be back with you guys if i could turn it up wish me luck we're in the right area oh still going out here with this big main ridge runs above the main valley i haven't turned nothing up yet but there's all kinds of buck and elk sign everywhere right here Drop down a little further than I planned on going. I, I'm gonna go look over this last knob and see and start zigzagging my way back up. It's six o'clock. I got about two hours to get back to the rig. Probably half hour, 45 from the four wheeler. Hasn't picked nothing up, but 
I'm gonna keep going, man, till the last minute. And see if I can find something. I'm gonna head down over this edge. <clears throat> down this way. See these elk I've been traveling through right here. It's a nice, it's good elk country. Just they're here. I seen that bull up above. Just haven't been able to luck into a shed yet, but it's it's harder up here. Super steep. You gotta take the right line. You could have. I could have been super close to a shed today, and I might have not even known it. Been a brown just right on the next little ledge, but that's why it's hard to not come look over these ones. Yeah. Look at this. You can see the. Right there, you can see where a bull ripped up through here. <laughs> Wish my four-wheeler wasn't up above me, or else I would try some of these down, but this is where we gotta go, down that ridge. Highway's down there, but let me come back and check some of these fingers out. For now, let's keep working this back up. It looks super good, but all we can do is some zigs and zags and hope, oh, man. It's super nice up here. And only thing it's missing is a nice shed laying there, but I got my hopes up. Next little dip or draw might have what I want, but figured I'd give you guys an update. Just wanted to check in, give an update. Well, you know, I'm still got zero skunk so far, but it's okay. You can't find them every time. There's a lot of times when they don't find them. And I just don't put it in a video. So hopefully pick something up today. But if not, got the legs moving. Another day out in the mountains. Blessed to be out here. So I'm gonna walk up this canyon, check this little side ridge back up to the main ridge, and walk the ridge back to the four-wheeler. Fingers crossed we'll be back with the shed. Let's go. Alright guys, this is it. We've been going all day still. Six something, almost maybe even seven. I'm up here on this cliff. I'm looking, I'm standing here on this cliff for five minutes ten minutes i'm scrolling through my phone i hit instagram a few times i'm looking i didn't even remember like i was thinking did i glass down here and i'm looking the glass so i'm gonna pull up in glass i glass the main ridge right down here as soon as i throw up fresh six point on the main spine i'm standing on i literally almost walked away and it's just laying down there like 200 yards so right here i'm i was glassing i glassed down here and i decided just to pan up and glass the spine down in there Exactly sure where, but right there. Look at that center screen right there. That looks like a sixer. Oh my goodness! Let's go, guys. I need to hustle up and get down there. It's gonna get dark soon, and I'm gonna have to come up this ridge. But I'll come back tomorrow to look for the other side. This is low low it's where i should have just started drove by these went way up above seen those shed bulls but heck yeah i'm gonna glass for again for a second keep looking see if i spot the other side and i'm gonna head down there and i'll get the pickup and show you guys and get back to my four there all right guys i'm heading down there now to that shed i glass for a minute the angle i'm at i can only see the prove it gap to see that six point sitting there but i'm gonna just head down there it's uh, 6 30. I got like an hour and a half. I'm gonna go straight down. You're getting the look right now, but I'm gonna try to look for the other side on the way down. If I can't find it on the way down this steep ridge, I will come back and look for it tomorrow. If I'm not glassing, it looks really nice. Could be smaller when I get up on it, but I'm gonna show you guys what I'm walking on right now. Look, he's up here on this spine. Dropped it on a little cliff ridge. Not much, just a devil's backbone, devil's backbone, hey? 
I'm gonna go down around this though. That shed's down there on that bent, so I'll quit recording. I'm gonna get back here with you guys here in a minute. Man, this hill is so nice looking. If nobody's checked it, and the six points laying right on the spine, we could come in here and pick up a few more. So I'll be back with you guys when I get down there to that shed. We're gonna kind of hightail it because this is steep. It's gonna be easy going down to it, but I'm gonna have to pack that horn back up. I don't have a backpack or nothing either, so heck yeah though. I'll get I'll check back in when I get with you guys. I'm getting down there. Alright guys, down here on the bench where it's at. I'm looking at it right now. It looks pretty man. Big white back end sticking up. I'm gonna flip around the camera and walk up on it with you guys. I don't see the other side anywhere near, but it, this is super steep right here. So if we don't pick it up right now, we'll come back and I think we could find it in glass and just keep looking. But heck yeah guys, I'm gonna flip around and show you guys. I'm gonna show you what it looks like from right here actually too. It looks cool. Heck yeah. Right on the spine. Good front, good solid back in. Just chilling. Heck yeah, let's go. Freaking made my day right there, man. I was going all day. I rode far, I walked a lot, and I just kept trying. And I honestly almost didn't even come right here because I was just like, oh, I'm gonna head back to the rig. Then I drove out on this little finger and was like, man, I'm, I'm gonna check it out and try it. And boy, did it pay off. Look at that, guys. Yes, oh my God, I love that. Third brown elk set of the year. Oh, let's go, man. Oh, yes. Sweet. Heck yeah, guys. Up there on top of this spine where you can see it break over. I was glassing up off a rock up there somewhere. And I just sat perfect right through there. That perfect little hole. And I could see the back end and the eye guard. Heck yeah. Let's go. I don't. The other side's got to be right here somewhere. This old whale tail bull. I'm going to look while I can. I'm going to get a, I'm going to leave it here. Look for a second. If I don't find it, I'm going to come back and get a pickup with you guys and head back to the four wheeler. But heck yeah, guys, I'm thankful right now. Take some ATLs too. It's pretty steep right here. Everywhere around is like, I'm no wonder why this shed's laying right here. All these other fingers have probably been walked already, but this is like on a billy goat cliff ridge laying right on the ridge. So it's protected up here. That's why it's still here, but maybe I missed it on the back side of the ridge coming down. Maybe it's just right down here in this timber. It's like in a draw, a draw running off both sides of this ridge too. So there is places to travel. I could smell bulls. Just didn't find it, but I only got so much time. I'm going <clears> to <throat> get the pickup, grab it, and start heading back. I'm already dedicated on coming back tomorrow, so I'm not going to look too... I'm just going to see if I can find it on the way back. But if I don't, I'm going to come back in here and look around man i'm just glad i got this i got about an hour till dark sun's going down but let's get the pickup on this guys it's awesome not as nice as i originally thought it's kind of a short bowl but it's super cool man beautiful six point no chips no nothing i ain't complaining i'm gonna pick her up okay i'm gonna pick this bad boy up man it's awesome freaking blessed to pick up another brown elk shed a little bleached out it's been here for a minute you could tell but it's super cool, man. Let's get this pickup and get back to the truck. Oh, yeah. Still nice. Good, dense shed. Not, nothing to be sad about, that's for sure. It's a good brown six. He's got decent mass, like, back here. He's young. But he's going to be really nice. He's going to have a good whale tail on him. He's super cool, man. I can't complain about that. The base, pretty fresh looking course this year I don't know what I'm saying but there's a little bit of blood on there and some hair wax ring doesn't smell like nothing at all but heck yeah and I can't complain I'm gonna zigzag up this ridge it ain't much you can't zigzag because it's so tiny but just to get better angled and see if I could see another one or spot the other side I'm guessing it could be below but it might not be <laughs> the highways like 200 yards right there I didn't even realize I could see it right now but Heck yeah, man. I can't complain. I'm happy. I'm going to take that all day. I'm going to get it on my pack. 
the old shoulder pack and head up the hill, boys. Wish me luck. Hopefully I find another one. Let's go. All right, guys. Made it out of that ridge, or out of that canyon, back onto the ridge, I should say. Just about to make it to my four-wheeler. The sun just dipped down over the hill behind me. Nothing else on that little push, but we got the brown six anyway. I'm gonna wench it down to the four-wheeler and I'm gonna get mobbing and I'll show you guys what it looks like. and Maybe give you a little footage on the drive out. Check back in with you guys at the pickup. I ain't gonna walk no more today, I'm beat. I'm gonna come back tomorrow though, see if I can match her up. Hopefully so. Heck yeah, guys. Check back in with you at the rig though. Let's go. All right, guys. Got her wench down on the Rubicon. I'm gonna head down that way. It's where I drove up and I parked right here. Headed up over that ridge. Went and did a little glass sesh. Picked up the six. I'll be back. Try to find the other side. Look at that fresh rub right there, right where I parked. But heck yeah, guys, figured I'd show you. Be back though. All right, guys, made it back to the tundra. Got her all loaded up and everything. I'm gonna head for home, man. Bless, I scored that six point right before dark, and I can't believe it. We got like a half hour till it gets all the way dark, dark now. But I'm gonna load my ramps up, strap the four wheeler down, head for the casa, man. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Good luck to all you shed hunters out there. Hopefully we're back in here tomorrow to match us up and you guys see that. But if not, you guys will see me picking this sixer up anyway. Freaking awesome day. Can't beat it. Let's go. Okay, guys. I'm back at it. Out here where we found the six point yesterday. Vince is with me. We're going to go up and try to find the other side. Maybe some more, hopefully. But we just unloaded the four-wheeler. We're going to ride up to the same spot where I walked from yesterday and go check it out wish us luck we'll be back with some sheds hopefully peace out all right guys just left the four-wheeler heading down i'm gonna loop around come through this and cut and like do a side hill across where i think the bull might have dropped to the other side vince is gonna check the other side we're gonna meet up do some zigs and zags on each side of this point where he dropped it see if one of us can find it if not we're gonna meet up and come back up and check above and see if that'll do it but I'm just gonna try to weed it out man wish me luck I find it might find something else some deer sheds good little part right here so I'll be back with you guys to give you an update wish me luck all right guys <laughs> going along I'm I cut down this big rock canyon coming up hit this rock was coming to this timber and I'm getting ready to hop up on this rock rim. I look down, I got a big freshie laying there. It's got a big back end. It looks like it's a six, it might be the match. We might've just matched them up guys. If it is, I'm so thankful. I'm gonna flip around and show you what I seen. So I just came, came from over there and I was walking, zigzagging this ridge and I, on an elk trail and I was following a set of elk tracks down through here and I come up and I, pop up to right here I'm getting ready to get on that and I look over and right there right in that opening don't oh my goodness big bull that's either the match or another nice bull now let's walk up on it holy cow Not broken at all. Oh, dang. I think that's him. That's him. That's the match, guys. No way. Let's go. I'm gonna get the pickup on it. Heck yeah. Let's go, guys. Dropped it right on this ridge right here. And he dropped the other one. Look how steep this is. I'm in Billy Goat Country. I'm glad I took the chance to come down here. Gee, Carl, 
Yeah, that's gotta be the match. Holy, I wouldn't have been able to find it if I stayed on that side. So he, yesterday I was up there glassing on that one and I spotted the shed down over there on that ridge. I'm not exactly sure. But yeah, that's where I, the first side was across the canyon. Today I came, took the line down over this backside and this timber, was working this timber, hit that ridge, popped over. There it was. Heck yeah. I'm gonna set the camera up, get a pickup and snag this, do a little more looking, and I'm gonna hightail it back up into the four-wheeler and the we'll uh, I'll make sure it's a match, but I think it is. It looks like that same bowl. And I'm gonna go and check this next ridge across. I told Vince there was a lot of good sign and there was probably some over there. So and this one's right here, they must be around. And I still could pick up another one right here. Vince might too, he's over there checking. So heck yeah guys, I'm gonna get the pick up. I'll be right back with you. All right guys, I'm gonna pick this up for you guys. Freaking super stoked, man. I wasn't even uh, maybe 20 minutes into the hike, maybe 30 at the most and got one best freaking way to start it off it's got to be the match to that one i picked up yesterday i think it's a little chipped right here i noticed but it's still cool i'm gonna pick it up and show you guys oh yeah sweet that is cool man definitely it's got that same whale tail bigger a little bigger on the back it's busted off right here like i said chipped but it's still cool man Nice. This is look like the one he probably dropped first. So over here on this other rocky face and he worked over and dropped the other one up there. Who knows? Maybe vice versa, but that's just how I picture it happening. That's pretty cool though, man. I can't wait to put it together and get up and show Vince. I'm down here. I got to climb a lot of steep out and I think I'm going to check this just a little bit. And then after I get done checking it, grab the shed and head up out of here and just you never know there might be another bull right here all right guys i went and checked down in that ridge further didn't find nothing now i dropped back down into the canyon that i originally cut down since i took a line above i'm gonna do a, go lower i told vincent down here he's gonna drop into lots of bull traps coming in and out of here just found a dead deer right before I picked up that shed. So, I don't know what it was. It looked like a buck foot. Really fresh though, so. Let you guys know, I went back to my horn. I'm heading towards my four-wheeler now. But I'm gonna check this bottom. This elk are coming in and out of the bottom. So hopefully one drop down here too. We could find something, but I'm thankful I got the, what's likely to be the match. I think it is. I'll check back in with you guys when I get back to the four-wheeler figure out what I'm gonna do but heck yeah figured I'd update you got the shed wench down again we're gonna head down back down where we came from and go try a different ridge for a little while see if we can find anything else wish us luck if not we'll check back out the truck peace out all right guys we made it back about ready to load up got it all ready to go There's people here too got their four wheelers unloaded but we're going to load up, head for home, man. going to go put them together. I'll get back with you guys, show you guys what they look like. But figured I'd check in. Be back. Vince with me. We out, though. Well, all right, guys. Here they are. Got them put together. Finally, figured I'd show you guys so you could see what they look like. Super nice bull. All and all, he's proportioned really well. He's got one short third. But good back end on him. He's young too. Not the biggest burst, but super happy, man, to pick these up. It's freaking awesome. Can't complain at all, man. But really a little bit lighter, kind of lighter horn bull than some of them are, but they get like that sometimes. Super cool though. Chipped is one point, a little chip, but other than that, he's perfect. I'm happy. I just want to get together, show you guys. Super thankful, man. Freaking catch you on the next video, though. Like, subscribe, drop a comment. Hell yeah. Let's go.